Hello everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create background loop animation with React Native Reanimated Library. In the end of this tutorial we will have nice 60 FPS animation visibility to play it on top, stop it, save animation state and continue animation from place where we stopped. So, what we're gonna do here, we'll take image seamless loop pattern, we'll fill image component in repeat mode like this, and then we'll do translation animation, which will give us effect of flying clouds. Let's start. I have fresh created React Native project. And first of all, let's add React Native Reanimated Library. React Native Reanimated. I'm using OS, so let's install pods. Okay, now we're ready and we can go coding. So let's add new component. I call it animated background. Import. React from React. some basic components we will need touchable without feedback for press and image component and style sheets Export animated background component. And return touchable without feedback container. So we will have touchable without feedback component where we can tap on it and start and stop animation and inside we will have image Let's add some basic styles container style flex one and image styles let's start with width and height we will change it later so style styles container and styles style styles image here i have added to the project our cloud png so let's edit to the image source required well, PNG. Ah, sorry require well, 
let's check so yeah should add to the app let's delete everything here uh, animated background component we can see our image let's add resize mode it will be repeat in our case and here we are next to make translation animation i need to wrap image into animated view for this let's import animated component from react native reanimated and wrap the image add styling same as image styles and let's take a look okay this works what we're gonna do next to do translation we need add image width longer than our container so we add uh, width as uh, screen width plus one image width let's create image size object width let's have a look okay it's 256 x 256 so width and height size and for our animated view width we need to get screen width from dimensions so screen width will be dimensions get window width uh, animated width will be screen width plus image size width let's replace this width with animated width okay now we're ready to add our translation animation to create translate animation i will use timing function let's take a look into the docs so let's go to the react native reanimated github repository here we have documentation link and example directory so what we interesting is its timing animation it will look like this and i think it will be easier to check some example i think progress bar use timing function as well so let's see yeah it's run timing so we will need clock progress value and some translation let's 
do this. We need destructuring some values from animated variable. Okay, use code block set value clock clock that's it for now uh, also I want to use use memo new value start from zero and clock new clock also empty dependency next we will use use code hook from the animated it receive function which return block uh, reanimated library use uh, specific uh, functions to write uh, animation code but basically it's just replacement for usual syntaxes we use for example block it just means uh, curly braces and then array of the commands for some functions so block and array next we want to run our clock so we write con its condition basically in usual syntax is, is just if and equal not clock equal clock running not comment so clock running if our clock is not running then we start clock Let's start clock function start clock and we will set our progress as output of our run timing function so if we we write in usual code it's our dependency it will look like if not clock running we will start the clock and so it's all in block so this and next we set progress is run timing clock one so 
basically this syntax is equal to like this block equal to this block in reanimated library syntaxes well let's back to our example so we have function run timing let's copy it We don't need destination and value. So position will be new while zero. This state which we should pass to the out timing function, it contains finished position frame time and time variables so we create state also we create config duration and how long our animation will continue to value we will be always do it from 0 to 1 easy in we want liner here and basically remove timing we need import timing and we pass to our block timing clock state and config let's remove everything from here and now we run timing function and return state position it's our animated position which will be set to our progress now we need convert our progress to translate value and put it to transform style our animated view I will import interpolate and let's create variable translate X, which will interpolate progress value oh, sorry input range will be from 0 to 1 so in our config will be start from zero and in config to one so our progress will always go from zero to one and output range we want to translate our view from zero to minus image pattern size width so image size width add these styles to the animated view 
transform and translate x okay let's take a look what we have reload some error okay i see transform should be receive array let's check again okay another error is something related to our block mm, equal not clock running okay we don't need equal here let's check again and now you see we have our animation it start from zero to minus image size and next we want to make it loop to do this we need in our timing function when the animated eight reset is state to the default value so let's add condition if our state finished equal one then let's set state finished zero position zero frame time and time to zero let's take a look and now you see the animations is coming in loop and the last thing i'm gonna add to in this tutorial is play pulse animation by tab create state play set play from state false by default use effect is playing I'm gonna also edit is playing reanimated value playing and dependency play is playing and update is playing value depending on play state so we can use our is playing value inside use code hook let's add on press function simply set play not play value so how we gonna use it we want start clock if clock not running and play is playing value is one 
so we need end here clock not running and is equal is playing zero and we want to stop clock in case clock running and is playing equal to zero clock let's take a look on press it's play and press it's stop Okay, it's work, but it's a bit jerky when we play it after pause. To fix this, uh, we need to set our time to zero in case clock is not running let's do this condition clock and like this not clock running clock then set state time to zero otherwise clock is running and we won't invoke timing function let's take a look play stop play stop yeah so that's it i put source code to the github repository you can find the link in the description to this video thank you for watching we will see you in the next videos